thinking about my song or my music called Ariel 19, <clears throat> there are two poems that I associate that um, piece of music with at least. Actually, there's more, but I just wanted to do these two poems to start off with um, <clears throat> because of the sense of loss and what kind of loss um, the, uh, the poems generate and the music generates as well. So, for instance, the first uh, <clears throat> poem that goes along with the music, I think, that symbolizes the music the most um, of the two, well, of these two poems symbolize that music, is The Mower to the Glow Worms by Andrew Marvell. So if you listen to the music and then read this, you might get an understanding of why I made the music the way that I did. Um, because it's similar to these ideas, I think. <clears throat> the mower to the glowworms. Ye living lamps, by whose dear light the nightingale does sit so late, and studying all the summer night, her matchless songs does meditate. Ye country comets that portend no war nor prince's funeral, shining unto no higher end than to presage the grasses fall. Ye glowworms whose officious flame to wandering mowers shows the way that in the night have lost their aim, af and after foolish fires do stray, your courteous lights in vain you waste, since Juliana here is come, for she my mind hath so displaced that I shall never find my home. <clears throat> so that's the first poem. The second poem is called Peace, and that one is by Henry Vaughan, and it's, it's about the same length. Peace. <clears throat> my soul, there is a country far beyond the stars, where stands a winged sentry, all skillful in the wars. There, above noise and danger, sweet peace sits crowned with smiles, and one born in a manger commands his, the beauteous files. He is thy gracious friend, and, O oh, my soul, awake, did in pure love descend to die here for thy sake. If thou canst get but thither, there grows the flower of peace, the rose that cannot wither, thy fortress and thy ease. Leave then thy foolish ranges, for none can thee secure, but one who never changes, thy God, thy life, thy cure. Okay, so pretty much the peacefulness by Henri Vaughn that I just read is um, kind of the opposite of um, the, the wildness that I found in the first poem. And um, in the Tree of Life, I used to do these Tree of Life critiques for my music. This particular piece of music, Ariel 19, would symbolize um, Malkut in the Tree of Life or the Kingdom, which is the last of the, all the ten Sephiroth of the Tree of Life, the Kabbalistic Tree of Life. There's also a poem called Slow, Slow, Fresh Fount, Keep Time With My Salt Tears, but I don't have that with me, but that's an anonymous poem, and that goes along with the music too, and also um, the one in Shakespeare's Twelfth Night, I think, kind of goes along with it. Slain by a fair, cruel maid, that song. Okay, so doing those, the reason I picked those two poems, for instance, was because there was a, there was a warm milk. That's one of the heavenly afterlives that I, I have experienced. And in it, you're kind of king for a day. And so immediately... When anybody goes to heaven, if they're on earth, if they're not Enoch, who's taken up by God and stays there, they have to come back to earth and have like a fall. Or no, 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 I'll take that back. Not a fall, but a, um, you're not in heaven anymore, so you might feel kind of lost. So that kind of loss that um, this goes along with. Both of these poems have a lot to do with Joseph in the Bible, where there's kind of a loss um, because there's going to be a, um, a not a plague, but a, uh, the, the, the crops are going to wither away. Um, there's going to be a seven-year-long famine in the land. So he interprets the dream of the Pharaoh and the, asks them to store up the seven years' worth of food after the first seven years of abundance. And pretty much that's how it, how it feels when you lose the warm milk, the king for a day, which is kind of a heavenly kind of king, um, being able to um, do things 
from heaven in a sense where you have like a kind of control and authority and then when you lose that you feel like there's that famine in the land so pretty much both of those poems especially the the one with the juliana um from andrew andrew marvel um pretty much that one um it's it's dissembling and it undoes marvel in a sense and that's a kind of loss um juliana his mind displaced and the peace one is kind of before that when the seven years um, of good um, abundance um, in Egypt in the Bible so that's the peace that's kind of like being in heaven too um, but before you have that loss if you're coming back to earth all right so that's my poem are oh that's my those are the two poems that go along with that piece of music called Ariel 19 if you haven't heard the music just type in Ariel 19 and you can get to it. Billy McBride, Ariel 19. Thank you.